takes a shot from idle as Terry Taylor was smart and heading back to the dressing room to get Lawler to back him. Hart grabbing Taylor while Idle going to work on Lawler with a chain. And he blasts Lawler hard. Taylor being held by Hart and Idle nails Lawler again with a chain wrapped around him, his right hand. The bout is over. 10-12 was the official time. So Taylor retains the title. And Lawler in some trouble with Austin Idol. And Taylor makes his way loose from Hart to get back in the ring and run Idol away from Lawler. So, 10 minutes, 12 seconds, Terry Taylor retains the Southern heavyweight belt, the winner over Austin Idol. It's underway and it got underway in a hurry. Look out! Watch it. Lawler and Austin Idol in a bout that was insisted on by promoter Eddie Marlin. As Lawler slams Idol's head down on the timer's table right here at ringside. This is a no disqualification. Lawler said, let's make it interesting. Put the title on the line. We never did get a chance to talk to promoter Eddie Marlin, but Idol absolutely denied that this would be a title match. Idol, who won the International Heavyweight Championship from Terry Funk and Tokyo, Japan, is in the middle of a fight with a king. The referee is outside the ring. So what we're seeing is Jerry Lawler, the world heavyweight champ. He just won it on a forfeiture from Nick Bockwinkle going against the international heavyweight champ, Austin Idol. <laughs> with no disqualification the crowd calling for a pile driver Jerry attempted to pick the heavier idle up idle at 242 outweighs Lawler by eight pounds and idle drives Lawler back into the ropes the referee is outside the ring for the purpose of counting a pin only And Lawler, uh oh, boy, he low bridged Lawler and put him right face first on the center of the ring. Idol still stunned in the corner, can't follow it up. Lawler rolling in pain. Idol back on his feet but staggering. And Lawler comes up off the floor. Austin puts him down, but falls himself. The universal heartthrob, Austin Idol. Man, he is some tough monkey, you bet you on that. So that makes two of them that are tough, because we know how tough Lawler is. Jerry bounced off the floor again. In the air, slam. Idle going.
going to the top rope and misses. There is no disqualification, remember that. So the referee, who is not even in the ring, could do nothing about that. And there goes Lawler. Good night, Austin Idol threw him way over the top rope onto the concrete floor. And here comes Idol. The referee trying to get him to get back in the ring. Look out! Slam and Lawler's head down on the table by the ringside. Idle trying to give, get Lawler to say he gives it up. Well, there goes the table, the mic box, and everything else. And the brawl goes on. Lawler rattled the whole ring when Idle slammed his head into a ring post. Back in the ring goes the King with Idol still applying the pressure. I think that a lot of the Lawler fans. Uh oh, Idol down on the floor gets a chair, pulls the seat right out of it. I think a lot of the Lawler fans felt like the Jerry in the mood that he was in. Whoa, Idol just blasted him off his feet. Hit him with the bottom of that chair, the metal side of it. And Lawler laying face first. What we were saying, I think a lot of them thought that Jerry in this kind of a match would be unsurpassed, but they have forgotten just what a mean son of a gun Austin Idol can be. He is a roughneck. He talks about his class polish and all of that. Rubbing it in, saying, come on, King. Where's your King now? Well, he's right down in the middle of the floor. And Austin Idol. Is fairly well working Lawler over. He's got him in a chokehold now and no disqualification. The referee saying break it up, but he can't do a thing about it. Once again, Idol grabs a chair this time from outside the ring. As Lawler coming up off the floor. And Idol nails him with the back of the chair right in the midsection. The referee pleading with him. While Lawler is laid out flat, he slams the end of that chair right into Lawler's midsection. So, the bout that Lawler insisted the promoter put together has not turned out the way he had hoped it would. Idle slamming away on Lawler. We're about eight minutes in and look at the King. And Idle trying to get away. Lawler grabs him and starts belting him. So the King proving his toughness against the roughneck from Las Vegas. Now oh, here comes Bobby Eaton and Jimmy Hart. Sabu. But there's no stopping of the match. The referee outside the ring.
with the help of Sabu, Eaton, and Hart, Lawler into a pile driver. Idol slams him down. Here comes Eddie Marlin. One, two, three, and the king is out of it. The winner is going to be Austin Idol. Eight minutes and 54 seconds, the winner will be Austin Idol. As promoter Eddie Marlin comes into the ring, the family Eaton, Sabu, and Hart, and a promoter now trying to get him out of there. Uh-oh. Eaton, Neil Marlin, that'll cost him. But the family having Jerry Lawler pinned right on the floor in the middle of the ring, feeling flush with power, are going after Marlin and Lawler. Idol, who was furious to begin with, throws the referee out after he put Marlin down on the floor for a second time. Bobby Eaton picks him up, slam down. Idol drops on him with a knee. And unfortunately, being the last bout, most of the wrestlers have gone by the time this bout came up. Idle again with a pile driver. Slams Lawler down, and Lawler and Eddie Marlin both. Marlin and Lawler both laying down on the floor. So, Idol comes out victorious. Can't be very proud of himself because he, in fact, needed help from three of the first family. Woo!